everyone. I am here today. My name is Dr. Rivera Martinez, and I am here with my grandson, Flat Stanley. Say hello to our audience, Flat Stanley. Hi, audience. Hi, Grandma. Well, today he is going to embark on his second adventure at the NYT College of Osteopathic Medicine. Last time he visited the Ryland Health Center. Today he's going to visit with a bunch of people that we made appointments for him. Are you excited, Flat Stanley? I'm so excited. I was a little scared to visit the health center last time, but everyone was so nice and welcoming. I can't wait for it today. I am so glad. Wow, and you are looking so handsome. Isn't that right, everyone? Look at that. How about you? How do you feel, Flat Stanley? I feel great. Do you like my tie? Grandpa helped me put it on. Well, we all hope that you enjoy his visit today and that you enjoy your visit today. Hi there, Flat Stanley here again, and now reporting my visit to the NYT College of Osteopathic Medicine. I had such a great day visiting the Ryland Academic Health Center that I'm ready to follow my dream of becoming a doctor. My grandma, Dr. Rivera Martinez, arranged some appointments for me the first day, but today I came on my own. Here I am with Dr. Jerry Ballantyne, Vice President and Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine, Dr. Nicole Wadsworth, Site Dean on the Old Westbury campus, and Shelley Cohen, Senior Director of Finance. Honestly, at the beginning of the meeting, I was really nervous, but they all went out of their way to make me feel welcome. Dr. Ballantyne opened up the meeting with funny stories about him being a medical student and gave me tips about getting into medical school. Dr. Wadsworth knows so much. She answered all my questions on what to expect if I'm accepted and all the activities that the students have here at NYTCOM. Shelley Cohen told me everything I need to know about the cost of medical school training and how to keep my finances in order before, during, and after medical school. Wow, my head is buzzing with all this information. Now is the time to act. Thank you for letting me visit with you. Next, I had a meeting with Carol Zera, Associate Director for Admissions. I was so relaxed during my meeting with her. It's great that she smiles all the time. She gave me a tour of the NYTCOM Admissions Office and then answered my questions about how all those applications to medical school are processed. Shh, don't say anything about this but she gave me great tips on how to make my application shine. Thank you. I had a break between meetings and went outside to enjoy the sunny day. A lot of medical students were outside too. These fourth year students are getting ready to receive their diplomas. Congratulations to all on completing medical school. After the break, I met with Dr. Sheldon Yao. He's the chair of the OMM department. We talked about the founder of osteopathic medicine, Dr. Andrew Taylor Still. Honestly, Dr. Yao is a walking encyclopedia. He knows everything about osteopathic medicine. I truly appreciate the time he took to speak with me. He was so patient and explained everything in a way I could easily understand. I learned a lot. Thank you, Dr. Yao. This was really great. If you haven't had an osteopathic manipulative treatment, OMT, I recommend it. Dr. Diane Becker was kind and gentle demonstrating OMT while she was explaining how it helps to heal the body. She talked about how the room we were in was used to teach medical students the art of treating patients with OMT. I felt so much better after her treatment. Thank you, Dr. Becker. My day was not done yet. I was looking forward to meeting with Dr. Karen Shefflin. After everything my sister Isabella says, I can tell she likes Dr. Shefflin a lot. Dr. Shefflin is the director of the Emigre Physicians Program at NYTCOM. That means that this medical school accepts students who have a medical doctor degree from another country. They go through medical school all over again here so they can become a doctor of osteopathic medicine. Then they can be doctors in the US. Wow, this is an awesome program. Dr. Shefflin also answered my questions about how doctors talk with patients and how they examine them with all their special equipment. I can't wait to learn how to do that too. Thank you, Dr. Shefflin, for meeting with me. Then I went over to the anatomy department. I was having so much fun. I was almost late for my meeting with Dr. Jonathan Geisler and Dr. Brian Beatty. Dr. Geisler is the chair of the department. 
Look at that bone next to me on the desk. That's part of an extinct whale that's about 10 million years old. Awesome! If I went to medical school, I'd be able to learn all about the human body in anatomy class too. Thank you both for showing me that neat fossil. This is Dr. Lillian Niwagaba. She is the director of the Center for Global Health here, and she helps students travel all over the world to learn how people live and how doctors take care of them there. You can tell from all the smiles that she really loves her work. And she told me stories about all of the adventures that medical students have had. She was so kind and she's got an awesome program here too. I'd love to go to another country with her if I was a medical student here. Doctors help people wherever they are. I was so busy thinking about everything I learned today that I accidentally bumped into Stacy Bogdan, who works in the Office of Development and Alumni Relations. She was talking with Susan Payette from the Office of Student Administration when I ran into the two of them. So sorry, I should have been watching where I was going. We all started laughing once I apologized. They were both so friendly and they asked me to come back to visit soon. Thank you, ladies. Overall, I've had a great time visiting NYITCOM. I hope someday to be a student here myself. That's my dream. This is Flat Stanley signing off for today. I need to go find my grandma and tell her all about my day.